So there's a way to exercise the heart to make it resilient, and there's another way to exercise it in which you hurt it. Good morning, friends. Yesterday, Greg Valentino left a question on one of my videos asking about whether things like caffeine and ephedrine stimulants may worsen the condition of the heart if used before exercise. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why stimulants may harm the health of your heart. But before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video and comment on the video and turn on closed captions to support the channel. Now let's get started. Before we talk about stimulants, I'd like to talk to you guys briefly about beta blockers. Beta blockers are some of the most heart healthy medications known to man. For those that don't know, I have two dedicated videos on beta blockers. Here I just wanted to point out to you guys what beta blockers do. Beta blockers block adrenaline receptors, inhibiting the ability of adrenaline to change gene transcription in the body. As you guys will remember, adrenaline directly modulates a heart rhythm and has direct effects on vasoconstriction in blood vessels. So beta blockers do a few interesting things. One of the things they do immediately is treat arrhythmias, people who have inconsistent heart rhythms. So that's one thing they do, they treat arrhythmias. They also lower the heart rate generally, they lower blood pressure, and they help to remodel the left ventricle. So as you guys know, a lot of athletes develop left ventricle hypertrophy. Using beta blockers reverses that over a period of years. So that's really interesting. We could then imagine that, so inhibiting adrenaline has these effects. What would the effect be of raising adrenaline? So the effect would be potentially more arrhythmias, a higher heart rate, more vasoconstriction. So the higher heart rate and the vasoconstriction acutely would make you a better athlete potentially, acutely, right? They make your body move faster and react faster through the sympathetic nervous system. But it'll also cause potentially that left ventricle hypertrophy over time. So it does sort of the reverse. So you could imagine that if somebody were using a drug like clenbuterol, an adrenaline receptor agonist, they might get the reverse. They might get left ventricle hypertrophy, an arrhythmia, and you guys may know many people who use clenbuterol a lot are known to have arrhythmias, and a higher heart rate and more vasoconstriction. So Greg wasn't asking me about clenbuterol though, he was asking me about caffeine and ephedrine. I'd like to mention briefly that I have a video also on caffeine and you guys may learn that caffeine is surprisingly healthy when, when considered in general. However, my thoughts, although I haven't looked at studies that specifically test this, my thoughts are that if you use a high amount of caffeine right before a workout, if you're natural, it may not have that much of an impact on your heart uh, health. But if you're somebody on PEDs, somebody whose heart is already beating faster and whose blood vessels are already constricted and who is prone to developing fibrotic tissue that is like sort of scar tissue in their organs because they have all these growth factors turned on, like the post I made on Instagram recently about cardrine. For people like that, using a few hundred milligrams of caffeine before a workout may push their heart past the edge where it's stressing out in the workout. You see, you can work your heart out, but you can also stress your heart out a lot during a workout. That's why ultramarathon runners have been found to have fibrotic tissue in their hearts uh, in post-mortem studies. So there's a way to exercise the heart to make it resilient, and there's another way to exercise it in which you hurt it. My feeling is that taking caffeine right before a workout for somebody on steroids and somebody with the right predispositions may cause his heart to not function as well in the long term. May cause more left ventricle hypertrophy, more risk of arrhythmias, stuff like that, which are all very concerning issues. And the same applies to ephedrine as well. Although caffeine is less directly involved with adrenaline, ephedrine is quite directly involved with it. Anyway, the point is anything that increases the heart rate directly, constricts the blood vessels, will make your workout have more of an impact on the integrity of your heart. So what's the long and short of it all? Well, stimulants may make you more athletic in the moment, but in doing so, they put more stress on your heart. They make your heart beat faster, they make your heart have to push blood through more constricted blood vessels, and so on. What can you imagine this doing in the long term? Well, potentially the reverse of what beta blockers do. It may cause more left ventricle hypertrophy, more cardiomegaly, enlargement of the heart in general. It may cause you to develop an arrhythmia over time. It may do other things like that. These are just, of course, speculative. It won't happen to everyone. It'll be way less likely to happen to people that are not overweight or on PEDs. Anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.